Hey everyone, and welcome back to Bulldozer. No, but Drilldozer, that's right. I knew I'm pronouncing it wrong, Jesus Christ, damn it. <laughs> but okay, let's proceed further today to, uh, in my opinion, which are uh, some of the hardest secret levels in the entire game. Combined, you know. So, um, this first level here will split into two paths. So, uh, yeah, we'll be taking one path today, and uh, we'll be taking the next path uh, in the next episode. So, of course, first I'll tackle the path which is not so hard, like the next one, but uh, in the next episode we'll tackle the hardest part, which is here, in this level. The hardest part is actually here, at the top of this platform, so uh, I do not advise you to go through this door, because uh, you'll pay for it with your life. Yeah. I can assure you, so uh, first definitely go to this lower section here. So <laughs> don't get me wrong, it will be still hard, but not so hard like in the upper uh, section there. So now we are in this bottomless room, and uh, like the name applies, there will be a lot of bottomless bits in this uh, whole room. But um, as you can see here, we have these um, funny little police dudes that are, well, Wearing makeup for whatever reason. If you take a closer look at them, <laughs> they kind of look like clowns. They have these eyes with makeup. So yeah, that's a pretty weird design for an enemy. Like really, like what the hell is that thing? Like what? But anyway, here. So basically, what you need to do, you need to reach the other part of this room. Yeah, this platform. And as you can see, it's not so easy to do. So basically, what you have to do. You have to take advantage of uh, the attack of these enemies, which they are making. So, if you remember how they attack, they wait for a little while, then their arm is beginning to pulsate, and then they launch their arm forward, and when they are doing that, you have to drill into their arm, and then bounce backwards out of it to uh, yeah, reach the next section. And as you can see, reaching the next sections is... Uh, pretty hard task to do, so you won't be able to do that uh, right off the bat, so basically you need to know, you need to expect what will be happening in the next section. So for example, there are these uh, sockets that you need to reach, you know, you need to bounce out of them as well to reach the other sockets and stuff like that. So yeah, it's a trial and error place as well. Yeah, what I noticed about these arms that they are kind of beginning pulsating and then they are launching forward at you after about 3 seconds or so, so yeah, you need to get the timing right to drill into these arms and then bounce backwards to launch yourself backwards, you know, and then you can do, well, other things related to other parts of this uh, whole room. So, yeah, it's a pretty tricky room, uh, so as you can see, the level starts, well, not so easy, like I said before. This whole level is, uh, well, very, very big torture chamber in both of these rooms, but um, this uh, first room that we entered is kind of like not so hard, if it makes sense. Everything is hard in this whole room, in this whole level, I mean, but uh, yeah. This is only the beginning, basically. So uh, in this next room, we also have these police dudes, which are wearing makeup, and they still look funny, but now they have this... Uh, electrical outfit on them. I don't know what the hell is that thing. Uh, so if you remember how you can deal with these dudes, you need to drill into their screw, which is uh, on the upper part of their body. So you can't just take them normal, you know, out. So basically you unscrew the screw and then they are running like a madman from you, <laughs> away from you, I should say. And then you can uh, kind of dispose of them normally here. So. So this room, in general, will feature a lot of these dudes, but um, you actually don't need to go after them at all in this room. As you can see here in this um, bottom section, uh, well, we have this kind of like tunnel which can be drilled through. So we'll be kind of taking advantage of that. Normally what you have to do, I think, here is, yeah, take advantage of these sockets there and then bounce from one socket to another, you know, to reach the tube there to the left. But um. I think that's too tedious, so yeah, we'll be um, doing something else here. So basically we'll be digging a tunnel here, 
and uh, yeah, if you're digging through here, you can actually reach that place to the left here as well, you know, without any hassle. So you can drill these upper blocks here as well. I don't know why you need to do that, but, um, well, you can make fun of these guys, I guess. You can just trap them in these platforms where they are walking there and, uh, yeah, they won't be able to reach you. Or you can just lure them in so they fall down to that tunnel and stuff like that. But <laughs> it's pretty pointless, really, because uh, here, actually, you can reach that um, left tube where we need to go from the lower section, and, um, yeah, I'll be kind of cheesing this whole section, how exactly you'll just find out in the moment. So, uh, you see, there are these, um, electrical things there, so we'll be taking advantage of our, um, invincibility frames. So, stand here, and when you jump, and when you are facing away from the tube, the knockback kind of bounces you backwards, so that you can reach that ledge there to the left, as you saw there. So, basically, yeah. No hassle is needed at all in this particular room because you can just cheese it by using your invincibility frames and that knockback. So, <laughs> and also here, yeah, we have these tubes, if you remember, where you need to stay at a certain gear in order to proceed forward. So here, for example, you need to stay at the second gear in order for the tube to um, lead you forward. If you're not staying at the second gear, then it kind of launches you um, backwards. So, yeah, we already uh, met this kind of thing, you know, before. So, yeah. Okay, so next room will feature a lot of these tubes with numbers. So, um, yeah, you need to take a closer look at your surroundings in this particular room. Because there will be a lot of them and um, also, like I mentioned before, trial and error place. So... So basically what you will be doing in this whole place, you'll be uh, making many mistakes in order to advance forward because there will be a lot of these uh, tubes with numbers and uh, well, you need to know what to expect, you know, when you're advancing uh, forward through this section in order for you to uh, be reactive to that kind of stuff, if it makes sense. So I advise you here, especially in this particular part, to uh, use your scouting mechanic to look uh, upwards to see what tubes to expect forward because this whole section kind of loops around itself so uh yeah at first we'll be uh, kind of going to the right part of this whole room then we'll be looping around it then we'll uh, end up in the upper section then we'll go to the left section and then from the left section we'll kind of go again to the right section and stuff like that so <laughs> so yeah Alright, so um, I think first we'll uh, head on to this uh, lower part here. But uh, still, if you're using that scouting mechanic there um, in the lower section, it's still hard to remember all these things. So Also there, um, use your scouting mechanic as well to uh, take a closer look at the upper part and uh, see that there is actually blue too. So, okay, and here use your jelly blocks yeah, to reach. Well, our third gear. That's why I went to this um, uh, lower section first and actually grab it. So so that the um, other things in regards to this whole torture room <laughs> are much more um, easier for us. So. so you don't have to kind of go backwards here like I did. Through this part you could just yeah, land here and uh, go to this place normally like you did before, you know. But I was just uh, taking advantage of it just for the sake of time, but I kind of screwed it up anyway and blended it well in the electricity. So <laughs> so here you can't look upwards, unfortunately, because you see there is this electricity at the bottom. So uh, when you will try to look upwards, electricity will kind of hit you and uh, yeah, Jill will just snap out of that animation and she won't be... Uh, looking upwards. What you can do here, you can drill into these um, yellow blocks and then they kind of leave this platform where you can stand on our So, yeah. So, if you want to use your scouting mechanic to take a closer look at what is happening uh, upwards, you can just, well, 
get rid of one of the blocks and stand on that platform where the block was and then use your scanning mechanic. So, so I was failing in this whole part a lot. I don't know why, just well, because, like I said, you know, you don't know what to expect when you are moving forward at high speed. So uh, sometimes you can screw up your um, drill inputs, and I was doing that a lot in this particular section. And then later on, I kind of realized, you know, there are a lot of uh, these yellow blocks here, so um, as long as I'm uh, screwing myself up here, uh, yeah, let's just uh, take advantage of these blocks, let's just drill through all of them. You never know, maybe you'll get some chips in the process, and these chips will be really, really important, especially in the next part of this um, whole level, in that um, other door which you remember from the beginning of this episode, there are two doors when we enter this uh, whole level. So yeah, for that other door, these chips will be really, really important, because, well, simply in the other door, you'll die a lot. And that's pretty much it. No, but for real, the other door is a much more challenging one than uh, this first one, so I definitely advise you to go through this first door first, you know, when you uh, play this level first, you know. So... So yeah, overall, what can I say, we already experienced um, Jill sandwiches a lot, right? So in this whole part you can experience, well, toasted Jill sandwich, you know, because there's a lot of electricity and stuff. Roasted and toasted, what can I say, like, for real. <laughs> you can see, yeah, I'm failing here a lot. Simply because, um, well, you see these pipes, they are not too big, they are really, really small, and you don't have much reaction time to, well, react. Uh, to these different pipes, to these different uh, combinations, you know, gear combinations and stuff like that. So that's why, yeah, you can take uh, quite a lot of beating here because of that electricity. But still, uh, you know, it's not so much of a beating like it will be in uh, the next episode. Trust me. So, <laughs> but yeah, after our struggles, so well, eventually we can prevail after a while and um, yeah, proceed here uh, forward. So uh, here will be, uh, yeah this number which is free so we need to um, use our uh, drill at the third gear to advance forward here and again you see the struggle continues only um, this will be the end you know this will be the end of our roasted and toasted uh, Jill sandwich so so here yeah we have a couple of blocks remember here to uh, Hold down the left directional pad button so that Jill is not snapping out of her drilling animation. And uh, yeah, you can uh, go through that section unarmed. So when you're drilling through uh, these blocks. So so here we are at the shooting range. This will be kind of like mini bus room. Which won't be too much of a mini bus, but uh, what exactly I mean you'll just find out in a moment. So you see this enemy which kind of homes on you. This is the mini bus. So, um... Overall, it's not so hard enemy to deal with normally, but you see the problem here are these uh, small little cannons that shoot this green hooba booba bubble gum at you. So yeah, if you touch them, if they launch this green flabber thing at you, then uh, well, you won't be able to use your drill. So what I do here, I first uh, drill through these two blocks. And, um, as you can see, we can hide in these, um, holes there. So, I was taking advantage of that, because, uh, when you are hiding in these holes, then, uh, well, that enemy which is shooting these lasers at you can't harm you. As you can see, after a while, he's not seeing you. So, basically, what I, yeah, was trying to do here, I was trying to dispose of these, um, cannons first, and then go after that, um, enemy, you know? So here, for example, you see this enemy is constantly shooting at me, so you might wonder what you can do to, um, well, for it to stop shooting, you know. So, as you can see there, I was just quickly going from one hole to another, and um, if you are just doing it normally, it won't work. That enemy will still home on you, so what you have to do here when you are going from one hole to another, uh, you quickly jump out of the hole, and then you use your dashing mechanic, so that enemy loses you, if it makes sense. So, and then you can, yeah, 
slowly get rid of these uh, booba booba cannons so that they are not bugging you and stuff like that. And um, also one thing that I um, I think haven't mentioned about this uh, green booba booba jelly is um, when you are being touched by it, it usually takes a lot of time for it to wear off, you know, for you to use your drill. But uh, if you keep on pressing L and R buttons quickly, then it kind of goes away uh, much more quicker. So, so yeah, overall in this um, whole part of this level you can lose a lot of health as well, you know, just because of the electricity in the previous room, just because of these bottomless pets, and also, yeah, because of this dude. That's why I say that it's kind of like a mini-boss, because um, it's not so easy to deal <laughs> With it, as you can see, there are a lot of dangers here, a lot of obstacles in your way that, uh, yeah, make this whole uh, battle uh, much more harder for you. So, I have still no idea what the hell is this thing, maybe some kind of security robot or something. But overall, you know, the designs of enemies in this game, uh, it's pretty weird, like, seriously. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, the design of the bosses themselves um, is cool and all. But uh, the regular enemies, eh, not so much. Similar, yeah, to Metroid Zero Mission, it was uh, the same thing here, uh, basically. The design of regular enemies is not so good, but uh, the design of bosses is just awesome. So here, I wanted actually to reach this um, Hoopa Boopa Cannon, but I accidentally just reached that enemy and I, yeah, get rid of it first. And uh, then get rid of that cannon, so... <laughs> So basically, yeah, wanted to do one thing, but um, ended up uh, doing the other. So yeah, now we are ringleader after uh, receiving um, this treasure here. You're getting better than me. Your dad's a wily crook. Alright. Yeah, Chip Fossil is a um, pretty interesting treasure. Why exactly it is um, interesting? Well. Let's check it out, shall we? So here is actually the exit of this level. So uh, this room is pretty interesting because um, this is kind of like the end room, prison back door. But um, this particular room is also the end room of the other part of this whole level. As you can see there at the top, you actually drop down to this place uh, from that other room, which we'll explore uh, in the next episode. So. But yeah, Chip Fossil, uh, like the name implies, you know, Chip, Fossil, it's kind of like two things in one which are, uh, well, pretty weird to combine, if it makes sense. <laughs> what exactly I mean, you'll just find out in a moment. So let's save our game, and yeah, let's check our uh, new treasure, so, let's check it out. So yeah, not too much treasures left to collect in this game. So let's see, a chip fossil. This fossil proves that computers existed in ancient times. Really now? Computers, okay. Well yeah, maybe there were in this universe, Drill Dozer universe, computers in ancient times and ancient people were watching some ancient porn or something. I don't know. Maybe that's true, yes. No, but really? Chip fossil? Like what? <laughs> Oh my god, okay. But yeah, like I said, the lore of these treasures is pretty interesting, but I... yeah. I wish there was even more lore to them, really. But uh, yeah, anyway guys, this is it for this part of this level, so in the next episode we'll check out the second part of this level. And oh man, let the real torture begin. So yeah guys, cheers.